Jenny Humphrey had tons of toxic friends on Gossip Girl, and we're about to rank them all. In many ways, Jenny got the short end of the stick on the show. She resorted to being somewhat of a mean girl because she felt like she had to step up for herself, watch her own back, and defend herself in many cases. Here's a ranking of Jenny's 15 friends on Gossip Girl from the sweetest and most loyal to the most evil and toxic. Vanessa Abrams. Vanessa easily snags the 15th position since she was Jenny's sweetest and most loyal friend on Gossip Girl. She and Jenny grew up together and treated each other like they were sisters. Of course, a lot of that went out the window when they realized they both had feelings for Nate Archibald. Still, Vanessa initially always had Jenny's back. Serena Vander Woodson. Serena was a wonderful friend to Jenny, especially during the era when she was in a relationship with Jenny's older brother, Dan Humphrey. Serena went out of her way to be kind to Jenny, and the only reason their friendship went sour was because Jenny later tried to steal Nate from Serena. Nate Archibald. Nate doubles as a friend and romantic interest to Jenny since they were completely platonic for part of their time knowing each other. Nate was a great friend to Jenny for a multitude of reasons, including the fact that he saved her from two very sleazy situations. He prevented her from having nude photos snapped by a creepy photographer, and he rescued her the night she was drugged so she wouldn't get essayed. Jonathan Whitney. Jonathan Whitney was friendly with Jenny because of his relationship with Eric Vander Woodson, so he lands in 12th place. Jonathan would have always been cool with Jenny if she hadn't started exhibiting bully-style behavior. If it were up to Jonathan, they would have been on friendly terms all along. But Jenny is the reason a better friendship between them wasn't possible. Eric Vander Woodson. Eric and Jenny were such good friends that they even started acting like brother and sister. Eric is in 11th place on this list since he had her best intentions when they first connected. Later, it was revealed that they shared a half-sibling, so their occasional bickering totally made sense. Truth be told, Eric was a great friend and brother figure to Jenny. The only reason their friendship jolted in a bad direction is because Jenny wanted to pursue the Queen Bee role at school. Carmen, Jane, and Sawyer. Carmen, Jane, and Sawyer were three of Jenny's minions while she was taking on her Queen Bee position as a high school student. As a trio, these girls land in eighth, ninth, and 10th place. They weren't toxic, but they didn't exactly do anything to indicate they had genuine love for Jenny or her best interest at heart. Isabel Coates. Now, we're starting to venture into the toxic zone, starting with Isabel in seventh place. She was more of Blair's friend and minion than Jenny's, but they definitely ran in the same circles at the same time. Isabel knew how to make Jenny feel inadequate and deficient with a simple glare. Penelope Shafai. Jenny's friendship with Penelope was also super toxic, even though Penelope was more of a friend and minion to Blair. That's because Penelope and Jenny both had a mutual attraction for Nate. It's a bit difficult to develop a healthy friendship with someone when you both like the same guy. Hazel Williams. The fifth place spot goes to Hazel. Things undoubtedly got a bit awkward between them after Jenny attempted to steal Hazel's mom's super expensive dress. Jenny was totally out of line when she did that, so it makes sense that a genuine friendship based on trust was never going to form between her and Hazel. Damien Dalgard. Damien doubles as a love interest and friend to Jenny since they started off totally platonic before he showed a romantic interest in her. He was a toxic friend in Jenny's life because he was down to get her caught up in the criminal world of drug sales. He lands in fourth place for being such a toxic friend and short-lived boyfriend to Jenny, Blair Waldorf. Blair was 100% toxic in Jenny's life because she made Jenny feel like such a loser. For this reason, Blair lands in the third place position. Jenny felt like she was never good enough in Blair's eyes, yet she was constantly fighting tooth and nail to impress Blair so she could fit in with Blair's circle. The most toxic moment of all between Blair and Jenny happened when Blair banished Jenny from Manhattan after finding out that Jenny slept with Chuck. Juliet Sharp. Juliet was another extremely toxic friend in Jenny's life because she convinced Jenny to become her ally so they could attack Serena together. For this reason, Juliet takes the second place spot. Their revenge plot against Serena was diabolical and sinister. They drugged Serena so she would wake up alone in a hotel room, totally confused about her circumstances. It was evil, and Jenny found herself embroiled in the drama based on Juliet's plan. Agnes Andrews. Agnes takes the first place position for being the most toxic friend Jenny had throughout her entire time on Gossip Girl. At first, Agnes seemed cool enough because she encouraged Jenny to pursue her dreams as a fashion designer. But then she started sabotaging their business plans and business meetings. Things came to a head when she lit Jenny's dresses on fire. Agnes further proved that she was truly evil when she drugged Jenny's drink and set her up to get assaulted by men from a bachelor party. Agnes was sick in the head, to say the least. Which of Jenny's friends do you think was the most toxic? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.